Hello everyone, I Nikhil welcome you to Vigyan Bharat. In this video today I am going to discuss the problem number 1 from TIFR GS 2021 Mathematics Entrance Examination. So let's move ahead into a lecture today. We are given a very simple problem, let's try to solve it. What it says that I hope you can, it's visible to you. Yeah. So what it says, for each positive integer n, that is n is a natural number, let Sn be a sequence of some of these terms, which is given in terms of the index n. What it means, suppose if you fix n to be 1, then everywhere you will change n by 1 and this will going to result in a finite sum. So if you will going to find S1, S2, S3 and so on. So it gives rise to a sequence of real numbers. Then you are asked about the nature of this sequence. What kind of a se sequence this is. Whether it converges or it diverges. If it converges to what real number it converges. We are, since it's an MCQ type problem. We have four options in which our first option says that the limit of the sequence as n as n approaches infinity is pi by 2. In option B, it's pi by 6. In option C, it's half. And finally, in option D, it is infinite. So let's try to solve this problem. To solve this problem, we require a very simple notion of limit of a sum. We'll see how we will going to transform this problem in terms of the limit of an in terms of the integral of a function so let's see if you see here i have written this sequence sn in terms of this summation and here this summation runs over this index r if you see here in the expression of sn only these terms varies 1 square 2 square till n square so likewise here in this summation my these square terms varies from 1 till n and I have given it a name small r. Fine. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this thing n square, this quantity out of the square root. When it will going to come out of the square root, it will become, it will look like this 1 by n and this will be 4 minus r by n square. Okay. So let's move ahead. Now, we know how to hear what I have done basically. This is my SN now. This my SN has taken this form. Now I am taking the limit as my N tends towards infinity in this expression. So I have now this expression with me with this limit. Because if you see this and if you recall when we when we define like when whenever we came across definite integral as a limit of a sum limit of a sum so what we do we transform a sum which is equivalent as integrating a function over a certain range so here in the left hand side if you see here this 1 by n is nothing but the length of each sub interval over some certain interval which I am trying to partition and here in general I am saying now if uh, my this function f is defined over this interval k to b over which the length of e sub interval is given by this expression h equals b minus a by n where b is the right hand limit of that interval a is the left hand limit and n is the number of sub intervals this h gives the width of each subinterval. In case when your number of subintervals tend towards infinity, you are exactly integrating the area under that curve. So this will become an integral from 0 to 1 dx upon 4 minus square root of 4 minus x square. And now it's pretty straightforward to integrate such a function. We know that integral of this expression dx 
over square root of a square minus x square equals sine inverse of x by a plus some arbitrary constant if it's an indefinite integral but it's a definite integral so there would be no arbitrary constant c so you can use that formula directly and calculate uh, this integral it's pretty straightforward now so when you're going to calculate it will be because if you compare a will be 2 in this case so sine inverse of x by 2 for range of x from 0 to 1 and this will be going to be come out to be pi by 6 so your original sequence sn converges to pi by 6 I hope you understood the solution of the problem and before concluding the video just uh, useful information for you if you are new to our channel then you may join our telegram group where you can get some interesting problems every day which may help you build some good mathematical understanding of some important problems and their concepts so that that's all for this video and we'll be going to move ahead uh, in the coming lectures with some interesting problems from this examination so thank you so much for watching